Haunted by the failure of the Great Leap Forward, Mao was fighting to maintain his domination of China. In 1966, he launched the Great Cultural Revolution. He failed to bring about an economic miracle, so in 1966 he wanted a political miracle. He not only wanted to get rid of his enemies, he wanted to do something that Stalin had been unable to do, destroy government. The Mao personality cult did not uh, come to for blossoming until the Cultural Revolution, when he became the so-called four greats, the great leader, great helmsman, uh, great supreme commander, great teacher. He has replaced Stalin, and Beijing has become world, the center of world revolution. On October 1st, 1966, National Day, the rallies with Mao reached their most extravagant level. The peasants alarmed over their crops. The doctors before an operation. The seamen in their morning prayers to the great healthsman. The children, instead of playing and laughing. The soldiers while on the march or resting, or when visiting their families. Everywhere this little red book is essential.这是一所半工半读的聋哑学校，多么天真烂漫的孩子啊！他们多数是贫下中农的子女，他们最伟大领袖毛主席无限热爱。可是，他们有耳听不到毛主席的声音，他们变成了聋哑人，是叛徒，
We all knew him when we were children. Once he dragged me by the ear for hundreds of yards. The side of my head got all swollen. He treated his subordinates very badly. When the Cultural Revolution came, the Red Guards and workers dragged him out to struggle with. He was not treated nicely because he'd been so mean to people. He was forced to kneel on the ground, on sand, broken stones and glass, for more than two hours. He knelt with a heavy board hanging from his neck. It had his name written on it, with red crosses through it. That's how someone who was going to be shot was treated. The board was hanging on a very thin wire, so after two hours, blood oozed out on the wire and dripped down. He was over 50, or close to 60, and he was struggled against many, many times because people really hated him. school we don't have the mathematics we don't have the chemistry we don't have the history we don't have the biology we only have two subjects to study one is the fundamentals for industry one is the fundamentals for the for the agriculture so we learn how to we only learn how to uh, make difference between the between different vegetables yeah so the um, that is a uh, cultural revolution I uh, just uh, think it is uh, very bad memory because I uh, don't uh, uh, don't I didn't study a lot I don't have the uh, I didn't get much uh, knowledge Besides the remember that in the cultural revolution start when the cultural revolution started when I was in the middle school the um, we don't have the teachers because most teachers were sent to to work to uh, um, uh, educate themselves for from a neighbor not from a neighboring okay so we have the only red guards as the instructor. That is red guards, two years or three years older than, than us, to uh, to teach us, to lead us to do the revolution. So the, the these uh, red guards are very bad because they usually uh, taught us how to fight, how to criticize the others, and in school always the students fighting. Because uh, everybody thinks the fighting is normal, okay? It's a revolution. On the afternoon of Saturday, September the 18th, 1976, China stood still. Mao Zedong had died nine days earlier from a rare disorder of the nervous system called Lou Gehrig's disease. His power over the Chinese people, for good and for ill, was equaled only by the greatest of China's founding emperors. With single-minded ruthlessness, he wrenched his subjects out of the somnolence of a medieval empire and transformed them into citizens of a modern nation-state. Yet amid these scenes of a grieving nation, few Chinese felt any personal sense of loss. They trembled out of fear of the unknown. Through all the turbulence of the previous decades, Mao had been the one constant in their lives.